Today I'm going to tell you a story. It is a story about injustice, but it's also a story about courage and about women standing up for their rights. It all started at a village meeting. Mwai just wanted to help. Her neighbor, Ngozi, handed her baby to Mwai for a few minutes. When Ngozi came back, the others said that Mwai had breastfed the baby. They said Ngozi's baby would get sick because Mwai had HIV. When the police came for her, Mwai was terrified. What was happening? The police said Ngozi's baby could get HIV because of Mwai's milk. Mwai was alone, confused, and scared. At the trial, Mwai was convicted for doing an act likely to spread an infectious disease dangerous to life. She was sentenced to nine months imprisonment with hard labor. A lawyer came to the prison and offered to help. He got reports from doctors to show that Ngozi's baby could not get HIV from Mwai. Mwai was taking ARVs, medicine to keep her healthy and lower the amount of HIV in her body. If Ngozi's baby got any milk from Mwai, there would not be enough HIV to pass on the virus. The judge at appeal listened to the evidence about HIV and breast milk. She ruled that Mwai did not do anything likely to spread a dangerous disease. Mwai did not commit a crime. Mwai could go home. A lot has changed in our village. A network of women living with HIV heard what had happened to Mwai. They came to help us. We set up a support group and educated our village about HIV. While some villagers used to be so mean to those of us with HIV and watch us all the time, now we feel more included, loved, and accepted. Having seen what happened to Mwai, we know that laws criminalizing people with HIV are unhelpful and unjust. So women came together to campaign for better laws, and our parliament listened. When parliament passed a new law on HIV, it protected the rights of people living with HIV and removed offenses that discriminate against people living with HIV. Ultimately, my story is about justice. <laughs>